Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And we're coming to you from Hinatepe, Nicaragua. And today we are celebrating the festival of Santo Santiago. We've been living in Nicaragua since the start of the COVID pandemic. And in 2021, we finally decided to resume our travels to discover the best places to visit in Nicaragua. Tope de los Santos is one of the major Catholic religious festivals in the department of Carrazo in Nicaragua. The festival is a celebration in honor of the patron saints of three of the most important cities in Carrazo, Diriamba, San Marcos, and Hinotepe. On the day before the feast of each patron saint, Statues of the saints leave their churches and are paraded around the streets to meet the images of the other two saints. This meeting is known as El Top de los Santos, which translates to the Parade of Saints. The festivities include music, dancing, fireworks, and the handing out of traditional food as well as some more somber activities such as Mass and Eucharist. The festivities are an integration of indigenous rituals with Catholicism, creating a unique blend of the two cultures. We were lucky enough to watch the Top de los Santos in Hinatepe this year. The Hinatepe festival is in July and festivities start the day before the day of the patron saint of Hinatepe, San Santiago. San Santiago is known as St. James and was one of Jesus' 12 disciples. There's a similar festival in Diriamba in January in honour of San Sebastian, an early Christian martyr, and one in April in San Marcos in honour of San Marcos Evangelista, the author of the Gospel of Mark in the Christian Bible. The festivities generally start with a Mass on the day before the feast day of the patron saint being celebrated. For the Hinatepe Tope de los Santos, the festivities started on the morning of the 24th of July with a Mass at the parish church Parroquia Santiago Apostol. After the Mass, a life-size statue of San Santiago leaves the church and is paraded along a road towards San Marcos. Along the way, he runs into a life-size statue of San Marcos Evangelista, who waits for him carried on the shoulders of some of his parishioners. Traditionally, the statues of the saints were paraded on a horse but now they are carried by the faithful. The people that carry the statues are either volunteers or are chosen for the honour. The two statues then proceed to the town of Dolores, where they run into the statue of San Sebastian. This is Dolores, which is the town in between Diriamba and Hinatepe, which is where the saints, Saint San Sebastian and San Santiago meet at the Top de los Santos. The saints are accompanied by people from the different neighbouring municipalities that celebrate together in honour of Santiago Apostol. The images of the saints are accompanied by representative dances of each municipality. Many traditional Nicaraguan dances have themes around mocking the Spanish colonial authorities and the fiestas patronales are no exception. The costumes are often bright and vibrant and dances are accompanied by musicians. La Muerte Corina dancers are dressed as skeletons and symbolise death. They carry scissors in their hands which they snap as they dance to separate the public from other dancers. Los Diablitos is a regional folk dance that is three or four centuries old. This satirical dance mocks Spanish colonisers. The dancers portray lost souls that have been punished for their sins. The dancers are dressed in colourful costumes as European page boys with a porcelain mask that has blue eyes and European features. The costumes feature a crown or hat, a cape, shorts, shoes, socks and a handkerchief on their heads. In their hands are a piece of cloth or a small towel. The crowns are made of cardboard or paper mache and decorated with glitter, colourful paper, mirrors and other ornaments. Some of their capes display religious symbols and words such as Viva Santiago. In addition to La Muerte Querina and Los Diablitos, there is plenty of music and traditional dancing on display.
and it isn't a Nicaraguan festival without lots of bombers or fireworks. <laughs> There is also the handing out of favours in the form of food and drinks. Traditional food and drinks handed out include items such as ayaco, nacatamales, stew, bunuelos, ginger beer and corn. On the 25th of July, a Eucharist or Holy Communion is performed in the morning at Parroquia Santiago Apostol and there are more festivities. After the service, the church bells ring and the statues make their way out of the church dancing from side to side, while flags for each city counts for the three saints are waved. The Red Cross, Fire Department and the National Police are usually in attendance to make sure the crowd is well looked after. There's nothing like a patron saint origin story. According to legend, Tope de los Santos started in the first half of the 18th century after the boxes of the statues of San Sebastian and San Santiago arrived in Nicaragua. The boxes had been thrown overboard from a Spanish ship headed to Peru during a storm. Local fishermen found the statues, and it is said that the Sebastian statue had Hinatepe inscribed on it, and Santiago had Diriamba. The fishermen transported them to their respective cities, yet found mysteriously that the boxes had been switched, with San Sebastian in Diriamba and Santiago in Hinatepe. The fishermen returned the statues to their original locations, but the same thing happened again. The pastor of Hinatepe took this as a sign that Santiago belonged in Hinatepe and San Sebastian in Diriamba. They decided that on the day before the feast of the patron saint, each one would go to visit the other, meeting halfway at the town of Dolores. And this is how the Tote de los Santos began. Sometime later, San Marcos was added to the festivities. After a priest had a vision that the city of San Marcos would be destroyed by an earthquake, the priest prayed to San Marcos to spare the city. Because the city was not destroyed by an earthquake, the city was named after San Marcos. And San Marcos is now its patron saint and has been included in the Top de los Santos festivities. We hope that you've enjoyed this experience of the Top de los Santos in Hinatepe. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and leave us a comment. We'd also like to give a big shout out to our super fan and wealth of Nicaragua knowledge, Daniel Palmer, for helping us with the research of this video. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.